I apologize for my hair looking like this. I recently just got out of the shower, but I was, I am very late on this reaction video. But, uh, here's something you guys might not know about me. I like mythology stories. Yeah, it's a weird way to say it, though. But why is it that I'm into mythology stories? Well, God of War, Norse mythology, Greek mythology, and all that shit. I've learned it about it in school when I was, like, very younger at the time. And the ones that I learned were uh, Norse mythology and Greek mythology, but the other ones that I'm the other one that I'm not too familiar with, but know a little bit about it is the uh, Chinese mythology, which is why I'm making this video or the title itself. If you've seen this video, uh, Black Myth Wukong is a game that came out of fucking nowhere, and it really got me excited though, because I've had to look up some research a little bit of this stuff and understand what the like how the setting of the game was and holy shit like I can't believe this like you're gonna tell me that they these developers have been working on this game for like I don't even know how long but we're gonna be reacting to the first official 13 minutes of the gameplay even though it, it I thought it was 15 but it actually said 13 but yeah I am a little bit familiar with Chinese mythology and the God of War games that I've played and all that shit. I haven't really played them on my channel, but it's been forever since I played God of War 1 and 2 and all that shit on PS2. But this game, I believe, is coming out on Xbox Series X and PS5, I'm assuming. So whenever it's coming out, it might have a Final Fantasy VII remake where it might take 15 years to make. I don't know, but let's just get into it. I actually want to see what this looks like game science. Nice. Okay, this is a company that I'm probably not familiar with. Gameplay footage is recorded di directly from pre-alpha game build. So yeah, they've been working on this game for like, what it seems like forever though. So you're playing a cicada or whatever the hell it's called. I forget what type of bug it's called. It has something to do with transformations, I'm assuming, because that's what I've read, looked up on my research with the mythologies and shit with the the whole Sun Wukong bullshit, but yeah, let's... Maybe he could transform into the character? It looks cool. I mean, the game looks fucking gorgeous, though, not gonna lie. It looks probably a lot better. Oh, wait. There's a health bar and shit? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay! This kind of is reminding me a little bit of Sekiro and, like, Dark Souls. Oh my, dude, what the fuck is, oh my. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah, because what I've read from the, the Goku character that everybody, Goku's familiar with Dragon Ball Z. I mean, everybody's familiar with him. So, he's, like, basically based off of, like, Superman and Sun Wukong from from the source material that Akira Toriyama was using. It reminds me so much of Dark Souls, but in, like, Dragon Ball Sekiro levels right here. Oh, my... The enemies are gonna be full Dark Souls. There's parrying? There's fucking parrying in this game. Oh, my... I'm, wow, I... Okay, I'm actually hyped for this game. I don't even care if it takes 15, 20, 30 years to make this game. I will buy it whenever I die. <laughs> I will play it at the age of 92 if I have to. Oh, so you can transform into a... Uh, oh, my... Okay, well... That's like a pig character, isn't it, or something? Yeah, this literally is Dark Souls, but in, like, Dragon Ball fashion. This is just with Chinese mythology and everything. It's fucking nuts. Can you actually fight those things? I'd be shitting my pants if I had to fight those. Well, yeah, this is... It looks really fucking cool. I really think this is gonna be probably... I hope this game, whenever it comes out, hopefully it wins a Game of the Year award or something, because this looks gorgeous. I don't care what anybody tells me. Oh yeah, that's- oh my god, that is a lot of enemies. Oh my god! So, yeah, this looks- this game does look hard, though. 
Like, it reminds me, it's def- I don't think this many enemies are in Dark Souls, though, but- Are you- WHAT?! Oh my fuck, okay. You can just roam around as a giant, like, it reminds me- Again, this is, this is like Dragon Ball where Goku turns into the Ozaru form. That's badass. This this game, I'm hyped for it now. I can see why people are pretty hyped about it. Oh no! It's like a giant fucking saber wolf. It's a big puppy. Okay, yeah, this is literally Dark Soul Dark Souls level right here. Oh my! I can't, I don't even know what to say. I, th I think I've just ran out of things to say. I don't know, but like, that the fact that they've been working on this game for so goddamn long, it just looks crazy. Like, I can't believe it. Ooh! Can you heal in this game? Because it's like Dark Souls when you're fighting, you're healing and shit. Or do you like die one time or gotta start all over the first boss? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, this is giving me like Guardian Ape like vibes right here from Sekiro though. That's how like insane it looks, honestly. Is it like a second phase or something? That would be weird. Oh shit. What if you can heal? I want to know if you can. Yes, you can. All right. Well, yeah. It's literally Dark Souls! <laughs> and you can send in as- Oh, never mind. Well, I, I don't think you can do that in Dark Souls. You can just send in a bunch of, like, versions of you and just fuck people up. Dude, I- And yeah, okay, you can heal. So it, it literally is Dark Souls! Okay. Oh my god. Dude, I don't... You have, like, a super form that lasts, like, a hundred seconds? Because that just looks nuts, man. I mean, if Goku... If this was the original concept for Goku, and if it would have turned out like this, then Dragon Ball would have been completely different from what we got uh, as of today. Jesus, dude. Flash step, hitting him with the quick flash step. Yeah, this boss fight looks like it's gonna take a bit. It, it, it also feels more like an RPG, because I think I've... Like, I don't even know if anybody heard this game until now, but what I've read from is that... This game's an action-adventure RPG? But it's like Dark Souls a little bit, so it's completely different from what I know from. Oh my god, dude. The cutscenes even look cool, too. Ooh! Oh! Second phase boss fight, or is it one of the characters? I might be getting an Xbox Series S for this shit right here. Fuck it. Oh my god. Dude, this- I don't know what to say about this. Like. I've ran out of uh, things to say, and it's only been like 13 minutes of the game. Oh, fuck that! No way I ain't fighting that! And you can even fly on the Nimbus! Flying Nimbus! Oh! You can e This game is just... I'd be... I wouldn't be so surprised if this game is gonna win Game of the Year, though. It looks... beautiful. Black Myth Wukong. Alright, but I think I'm just gonna stop right there, but... Oh my god, dude. I... This is... Probably... A much better version of Sekiro, though. But Sekiro still won Game of the Year. But this, however, could... Like, the hype levels amount I've had right now watching this... And the hype levels amount on the internet for, like, weeks ago... Is fucking insane. I can't... Imagine... What it's going to be like. But if... I wouldn't be too shocked if it won Game of the Year. But... Regardless, 
to people who don't know any of the like Chinese mythology stuff, this is the sto like a story based off of well, uh, well, it's called Journey of the West, and it it was made over 500 years ago, which was insane. Like during the 16th century of like China or some shit, and it was like there's been so many incarnations of this one story or multiple stories to be exact. But if they're going to make this game, then I feel like they're going to have expansion DLCs or some shit for this, probably, for like multiple stories, it depends, but regardless, I think that's it for the video. Let me know if you guys want to see uh, more videos in the comments down below, see what I want to react to. Got some other videos planned in the future, I don't know what they're going to be, but they will eventually come by. So anyway, that's about it. See ya.